up, homebodies? Yesterday we unlocked how to live stream from your Oculus headset based on their new kind of casting ability to a PC. And I actually woke up this morning being tagged by one of my collaborators, Alex, in Big Frame's announcement that you can now basically cast as your avatar from within Big Frame. Alex was suggesting that maybe we could do this with our work inside of Mozilla Hubs. And I was like, I think we already have let's check it out. If you've gone to my website, brendanabradley.com forward slash future stages, I have a walkthrough of the future stages that when you click on it, go into Mozilla Hubs and walk inside of the theater, there's an instructional video playing on the back wall, which is meant to be replaced by anybody who wants to put their own live stream in a virtual theater. However, to do this, I actually green screened an avatar helping me out with my demo. So I was both avatar and person talking through the tutorial. This is very simple to do inside of Mozilla because it's basically just turning your Mozilla template into a green room and then recording your avatar inside that room. So for funsies, for the rest of the tutorial today, I'm going to turn myself into this avatar. Hello! So first off, I'm going to go to hubs.mozilla.com, create a new room, let that load up. And now in the top left menu, I'm going to go to change scene. I have to verify my email, sign in, and then they have a variety of templates and scenes ready to go out of the box. I'm gonna choose just an open wide space, change my scene to that, and now I'm just gonna go search for a green screen image texture to drop into this world. I open that image, I copy the image URL, I throw it into the chat box down below of Mozilla Hubs and it will populate that image inside of Mozilla. I can hold down the space bar and click to drag the image wider, filling the frames so that I have a giant green screen. Now, when I go inside of OBS, I'm simply gonna add a window capture for my browser window, select the browser window for my hubs environment, arrange it so that I can make sure it winds up all nice and fancy or quick and terrible as I've been known to say. It's currently blinking a little bit because I've got my cursor hovering over the green image. So I'll just move that. And now I can apply a green screen to this image in OBS as a filter and it goes black. Perfect. So now what looks like a black screen is actually our hubs environment with a green screen removal. Boomtown. Now I'm gonna go back into my hubs room, click share, and it's gonna give me a code that I can log into on my Oculus headset. I put on my headset, log into the browser, into the hubs room, put in the code, and now when I select an avatar, I can choose an avatar to be able to put on screen. Look at that little guy. Hey buddy. So you can see that it has removed the backdrop and I just have my little avatar hanging out with me. Fantastic. This one's head wobbles whenever they talk, as opposed to the one that I'm using down below, which has a little bit of a mouth flap. Now I wanna throw something behind this avatar, so I'm just gonna quickly Google office environment, grab a URL of a quick image, and then throw that as a browser source into OBS, stretch it out, and put it behind my avatar. So now it looks like the avatar is inside of an office at a desk. How fancy. And I could get much fancier with this, but just real quick and dirty, throwing them in there. Line up with the desk. And now figure out which way I want to turn to be able to type on the laptop and hang out and talk to my viewer. That took like 90 seconds, which is amazing. And it's all open source. Now you'll notice that right above the avatar's head, is my name because that's what I logged into hubs as. To remove this, we're gonna go back to that hamburger menu where those three lines in the top left corner. I'll see audio, controls, and miscellaneous. Under miscellaneous, I'm gonna click on that first box, which is only show name tags when frozen. This basically means that unless someone clicks on the avatar, it's not gonna show that name by default. So now I don't have anything above me and I can just sit here and chat as my avatar. Pretty cool. But how do we get a fancy avatar? Well, if you go back to that avatar selection page inside of Mozilla, you'll see the option to create your own avatar. 
You can do this using quilt where you basically just kind of paper doll it by paint by numbering certain regions or areas or dragging images in. You can get super fancy with this. You could build your own inside of Blender or you can use what I'm using for this guy and just go to readyplayer.me, upload a picture, customize your little avatar and you are ready to go. So I'm gonna kick it back to you, Alex. What do you wanna do in this space? Or anybody watching the video, if you wanna try it out, all you need is OBS, which is free, Mozilla Hubs, which is free, and a headset to be able to put yourself inside of Mozilla Hubs, remove that green screen background, and start being an avatar in any videos that you wanna do live stream. It's pretty cool. If you like this video, of course, like, subscribe, and share, you know the drill, be kind to each other, and now go create something. Thank <laughs> you.